and welcome to Just for Babies, your weekly guide on how to properly take care of your fur babies. I'm Christine Jacobs and Tejas. And I'm Gabby Sudez, and today we are back at the Paw Club. Now, any animal lover knows there's nothing worse than a dirty, stinky dog. So today is all about making sure your dog doesn't reek. That's right, a wonderful episode for you today. Now, helping us out once again is our resident veterinarian, Dr. Rocky Velasquez. Hi, Hello, Hi, Christine. Dora. Hi, Gabby. How are you? And who do you have with us? So today, to help us with our topic, I have here with me our fur baby of the day, King Bob. He is a six-year-old Shih Tzu. You oh, are a king. king. You're going to be king for Look today. He smells so good. I know. Yes. Not only that, but feel, feel. Yeah. So smooth <laughs> and so shiny. Right? That's right. It's actually a sign that he's well taken care of and that he's healthy. Now, one question I always have is, how often should a dog be given a bath? The quick answer to that is, it depends. Uh, yeah. Giving a bath not too often means that they will have more parasites and prone to infection. But giving them a bath too often, they will have dry skin and flaky dandruff skin. It depends on the length of the coat of the dog. When I say about the frequency, as a rule of thumb, one to twice a week is enough. Something I do with Gabby also. What? What? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you talked about the length of the yes. hair, right? So golden retrievers will need to be given a bath more often than, let's say, beagles? Yes. Okay. So there's so many things to consider. I didn't know yeah. that. I thought every, all dogs were the same. So can you also give us a few tips on how to properly give your dog a bath? Giving a dog a bath is kind of complicated, but I can give you the things that you should not do okay. in okay. giving your dog do a bath. Do not. You don't put your dog in a tub and no. soak okay. the dog with soap. Why? That's bad. That's because all of the soap, the suds, will really seep into the skin and it will cause a lot of different problems. So it's gonna be hard to dry, it's gonna be prone to infection and drying. So no baths for you. Baths for you, only showers. Only shower, shower. <laughs> use a shower head or okay. a pressure nozzle. That should be okay. fine. Right. After a bath, you can towel dry them up. Yeah. And then you can still use blow dryer, mm -hmm. but you make sure that it is far away from so how, how the skin far? of the dog. Okay. So maybe a little bit like that, maybe a yeah. foot away from okay. the skin. Okay. Because if it is too close, that will really dry and burn the skin. Maskin it's painful. Even if it's not on the even if hottest, it's not, the, yes, the lowest yes. one. What kind of products would you recommend when it comes to cleaning your dog? Uh, remember, it's very important. You do not use those that are not a pet okay. approved product. So no detergents for your dogs. Okay. No dish washing soap dish for your dogs. How about how about human shampoos? Can no I then, no. no. So even it's, if for sensitive hair? And uh, even so, pH of their skin is so different. So it dries up their skin. Okay. okay, so none of that. It has to be pet approved. And high quality products. That's right. Okay. okay, so how about when it comes naman, to brushing the teeth? Okay, I didn't even know that <laughs> we needed to really you know, brush the teeth of our dogs. Because they're dogs. Yes, you still need to brush them. You still need uh, yes. to brush. Because just like humans, okay. they do get to have dirty teeth. You, have dirt. you do not. Have <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they do get gingivitis and periodontal disease. So. It's like having all of those uh, dirt from your food accumulated through time. Mm -hmm. So you really have to brush your teeth uh, on a regular basis. It's kind of hard in the beginning. Yeah. So my recommendation to yeah. my clients mm -hmm. is you have to start them young. Uh, you have to train them while they are puppies. You should also use toothpaste, of course. You have to use yeah. toothpaste. Uh, pet pet toothpaste. Okay. And in the beginning, you don't use a toothbrush right away. You use uh, probably your finger. Your finger. Okay. So, Massage. Yes. The first thing to do is you lift the gums yeah. of your pet. And then, just by using your finger, yeah. you allow them to lick okay. on it, get them okay. used to having your finger inside their mouth. All right. And then, that's the time that when you introduce the pet toothpaste. How often must you brush your teeth? Like humans also, like every day or...? It can be every day, but every other day or every three days is fine as long as you can see that all of the dirt is being removed. And of course, most important factor is nutrition. Okay. Mm. Because just like humans, they are what they eat. Mm -hmm. So all of the nutrients that's going in would manifest in their skin. So you would know that a dog is healthy when they have shiny, yeah, yeah. lustrous <laughs> coat. And when you see a dog that has dry skin, mm -hmm. really dull hair yeah. coat, then there might be some nutritional deficiencies. There are some minerals that's not being put in the diet, mm -hmm. so you'll have to consider that as well. And I think like even their breath might also be smelling a little bit yes. better. <laughs> and you know, everything else, both ends, it's just a little bit better, yes. right? That's why it's important that your dog's food is made by pet nutrition experts. Just like NutriChunk's premium dog food, 
the only dog food with active boost formula and prebiotics essential for optimum energy levels and better immunity. Nutrichunks is also rich in omega-3 and 6 to make your fur baby's skin and coat shinier and healthier. Lastly, most dog owners now live in small apartments. Mm -hmm. Who would want to have a stinky place anyway? No! There's good news because Nutrichunks is fortified with yucca extract to make your dog's poop more formed and easier to dispose. Plus, yucca extract is a natural odor reductor. So that means less odors to avoid complaints from your neighbors, yes. right? <laughs> and even with that, you know, I'm not even sure if other brands have all of those mm -hmm. inclusions. But I think it's really best that we should always check the labels yes. when it comes to what we give our pets. And with that, let's pause for a quick break. When Just for Babies returns, the Doc Rocky will tell us more about the right nutrition and what mm -hmm. we should actually feed our fur babies to make them look at their coat so nice and shiny, shiny and soft and of course you smell beautiful so we will be back do stay with us And welcome back to Just Fur Babies, your weekly guide on how to properly take care of your fur babies. And you're still with us. I'm Christine Jacobs Sandejas. Gabby Sandejas here and with Dr. Rocky Velasquez and our fur baby of the day, King, king Bob. Bob. Yes, and he is definitely our king for today. Now, earlier we went through all of the steps on how to give our dog a bath, how to brush your teeth, and most importantly also on the nutrition. nutrition. So now we'd like to focus more on, you know, the coat, the hair. So your dog's fur can tell you a lot of things. That is if you know just what to look for. I like to ask that. Like, what, what, what do we look for? What, what are the yeah. signs? Yes. The hair and the coat of the dog, the skin basically, can tell us if the dog is suffering from any type of diseases. So. First is, I will teach you how to examine okay. the dog okay. properly when Go you're at Gabby. home. So on a daily basis, it's basically you just check the skin using both of your hands. Mm -hmm. okay. You go from the tip of the nose up to the tip of the tail. So right. what you do is you part the fur mm -hmm. and check inch by inch if you can see some bumps, some irritation, okay. rashes, if there are ticks, there are parasites, fleas even, so that you can be prompted to consult your vet about it. Okay. So for the fur, it should be glossy? Like what kind of fur should yes. a dog have? Um, first, it has to be of course clean. Mm -hmm. And then it has to have that certain gloss or luster. A, a dog's hair or fur that easily breaks yeah. is a sign of nutritional imbalance. Okay. okay. If it is uh, really coarse and matted, mm -hmm. then that means it's not properly taken care of. You would notice that underneath the mats, mm -hmm. the matted yes. hair, there are hot spots and a lot of different skin diseases. You also need to check the color of the skin. Okay. That tells a lot of different things. So the normal color of the skin of the dog is just like this, just like King Bob's. Pale pink mm -hmm. and there's no discoloration. So if you would see, like especially here on the ears, if you would see that it's really bright red mm -hmm. and red all over like on the armpits, on the inguinal area, that means the dog might have allergies. Okay. If it's yellow, it might be liver disease. Yeah. If it's black and it's flaky, there might be fungal infection. Okay. Just, okay. Those are just the basic ones. Also, any discoloration, yes. that should already set alarm bells. Yes. Cause and, for concern. Yes, and call your vet right away. So another th important thing that you need to check yeah. is your dog's behavior. Okay. Is your dog itchy enough that it would go all night licking their paws? Then there might be something that's bothering them. More often than not, you would notice when that's a behavior that there are hot spots. Mm -hmm. Hot spots is what we call moist dermatitis. Okay. It's an infection in the skin that's very smelly and it's wet and it's flaky. It usually starts with just a small spot, mm -hmm. but and it um, spreads really, really fast. So you have to watch out for that. Okay. okay, with that in mind, how do we keep our dog's coat healthy and shiny and make sure that they don't have all of these okay. things happening? Well, as we have discussed earlier, proper bathing, proper grooming, okay. using pet-approved shampoo mm -hmm. and other supplies would really help. But more importantly, it all boils down to nutrition. So you mean what a dog eats can affect how their fur looks as well? Definitely. I guess just like humans also, Deva, we have to eat the high quality, quality. food for us. For our skin for and our for skin, our hair, yes. yeah. And the food that you need to give them has to have enough energy, fats, and more importantly, for skin and coat quality, it has to have omega-3 fatty acid, omega-6 fatty acid, or DHA. Okay, I take that too. I do the omega-6 and the <laughs> omega-3. Actually, our choice now of dog food, which is 
Beauty Chunks has the Omega-3 and Omega-6, and it even has a special coat shine variant to keep our dogs healthy and, you know, just looking young. It also has other nutrients too, high-quality protein, prebiotics, fiber, and it even has yucca extract. Yucca extract is actually beneficial to dogs. It could help reduce the poop and urine odor and also improves overall digestion and nutrient mm. absorption. Wonderful! And, and I live in a condo, so normally the moment I stepped in, I would it smell already. it already yeah. before. But with NutriChunks, wow. I cannot smell a single thing. I kid you not. Wonderful! It's really safe to say that NutriChunks right, really has that complete and balanced nutrition, nutrition, which is really important for our furry babies here. And for all of you out there that want to know more about this Active Boost formula, it contains the optimum levels of proteins, the fats, and the carbohydrates. And the dogs really love the Nutri Chunks Coat Shine Salmon flavor. Now, just to recap, a healthy coat means a healthy dog. Mm -hmm. It's not just a matter of giving them regular baths and using the expensive shampoo, but you have to make sure that your dogs are also eating right and getting all the nutrients that they need. So they have to be like healthy from within Correct. to bring it out. So yeah. when choosing dog food, never settle for low quality products. So the next time you're out shopping for dog food, consider one with a balanced and healthy formula to suit your dog's energy needs. And NutriChunks Active Boost Formula gives just the right blend of proteins, the fats, and the carbohydrates, while also, I love this, including prebiotics to help prevent diseases, improve digestions, and nutrient absorption. Yes, with real high-quality meat, wholesome ingredients, and no artificial colors, NutriChunks is made by experts for a complete and balanced nutrition. Talagang listo ganado with nutri chunks. Well, Mom, I think we learned a lot today, and we hope you guys did too. Thank you so much, Dr. Rocky Velasquez, and Thanks, for baby Gabby, King Mom. And thank you, Christine. Yes, thank you so much. Always a joy having you here, <laughs> and I loved having you here. You're so mabait talaga. So stay tuned, guys, for more interesting discussions on how to take care of your fur babies. On our next episode, we're gonna talk about proper nutrition <laughs> for adult dogs here on Just for Babies. See you next time for moms and for dads. Bye. bye. Say bye. Say bye. 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 bye.